and the marketing team is going to pitch a uh, 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 for money. Say, hey, you know, this is what we need. This is what we're trying to accomplish. This is what we're going to do, and we need we need money. We need money for this, right? So we're going to need one person from your group who understands the entire purpose of the film to sit in with the marketing team. So when the when if I'm the person, I come in, I say, well, what is this project about? We need somebody from your team to say, well, this is what the vision of the film is. This is the topics that we're covering. So that, so that you pull me in, and then the marketing team is going to do their part. Uh, they came up with a name for our production group uh, called, uh, you know the term Ghostbusters? Yeah. So Gangbusters, right? And it's up for discussion, it's up for debate, but they were thinking like from a logo and a marketing Hi, I'm Jalissa. Hi, I'm Moni Gordeman. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So we have some questions to ask you today. Yes. So why do you think parental involvement is important in a child's education? Well, the parents are the advocate for the child. So without the parent involved, you won't be able to probably advocate. Because you know, you always tell a child to in the child's place, right? So the parent is the one who has to advocate and make sure that whatever the needs are for the kids is reached. Nice. Yeah. And what do you want to bring to this event today? What are some of your skills? What's some of my skills? Well, um, as I said, my name is Monique Waterman. I'm an executive director and founder of East Flatbush Village, Inc. So actually, I'm a community-based organization within my 11 junior high school. So what I bring is school-supported services. I have an anti-violence initiative called EFV Enough. I have a mental health initiative because, unfortunately, this community is it's a lot of shootings, it's a lot of death, and it's a lot of violence. So we basically um, work with the schools, work with the students, work with the families to do a full wraparound service to make sure that we can learn, grow, and be safe and educated in this environment. Oh. Why do you think this event is important for the community? It's very important to educate the parents and let them know what's happening on behind the scenes, what's going on. But sometimes we as parents, so I have four kids in my home. I have a 16 year old, a 15 year old, I have a 12, and I have a 10 year old. So sometimes parents are not aware of what's going on with the education system. Um, we have young black males that we really need to make sure that they're empowered and educated. So this event brings awareness, um, making sure the parents understand what's going on and realize, then the parents know there's support and there's a lot of people. It takes a village, right, to um, raise a child. So I think that this event gives parents hope education, empower them to be able to be as informed as they can as a parent to help their child. Wow. Well, thank you for your time. All right. Thank you. How many of you know how, this is just be very honest, how many of you know right now, you know, in a way that is positive and productive to get money and open up your own business? Turn me on. For me? Yeah. What's your name? Winston. Winston. Well, for me, when I try to get money or something like that, I start to like, I have this thing on my computer, mm -hmm. and it's called, I, have, I use Photoshop, right? Yeah. And then I get paid for like, designing stuff for people and stuff like that. So like you design things. things? Yeah. Now, when you design these things, how do you get people to notice your designs? So like making cool stuff and making cool effects to that picture. Okay, but how does the world know that you have this? Advertisement. Advertisement. Okay, but she, she gave you the answer. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Miriam, and I'm a seventh grade student here at my 11. You are? I am Principal Patterson, the principal of my 11. Okay, so today we just want to give you, we're asking you some questions. Sure. And the first question that I have for you is, why did you invest so much money towards this program? Yeah, um, well, with this program in particular, um, you always look for ways of doing hands-on activities to better engage students. And what better way uh, than to provide students with project-based learning to take it a, st a step deeper, not just project-based, but let the students learn the art of journalism, the art of videography, let them get four or five thousand dollar pieces of, of equipment in their hand because it sends a clear message. I don't know how to work all of these cameras. I don't know how to set up these uh, this lighting equipment, but you guys do. This is for you. It's not for me. 
So the investment is in our students because we want them to learn, we want them to continue to strive, and we want them to know that we believe in them, that they're loved, and what better way to show that is to provide them with the resources that they can clearly see. Yeah. So did you make this program for people, for anybody to join or specific people? Kind of both. Uh, the program is open for those who kind of uh, show the interest, uh, those who have the aptitude, those who want to learn more uh, about, you know, uh, videography and everything that comes along with it. Uh, but then you have to introduce things to certain students, right? And then, uh, because once they learn and get the experience, that can open up a whole new world for them. So it's kind of a blended program. We want those who already have the interest, but then we want to locate students who kind of don't know what their talents and interests are yet and expose them to kind of some new things they may have never been exposed to and see in what direction they could go with that. So do you plan on making any other programs for students again? Yeah, and I think the best thing to do uh, is listen to you guys and hear from you guys and to see, you know, what programs do you guys want in the school? We have a host of programs in the school, but you guys are the ones to, to, uh, to tell me Mr. Patterson, this is kind of what we wanted. Then we could sit down and flush that out and see what it looks like. Right. For the students that have been engaged in the secret society, what are your hopes for them? What are your expectations and what do you see for them? I want the students to know um, that they have options. I want the students to know that this is just one way, right? I knew this would be engaging for our students because they would they would do quote unquote big things. What type of dignitaries they would interview, uh, equipment that costs, you know, four, five thousand uh, uh, dollars they would be operating. But in the grand scheme of things, these are small investments. It's really all about them understanding how important education is, uh, how important work ethic, uh, work ethic is, and how important it is. Uh, uh, the, you know, the whole social emotional piece, the relational piece, that, you know, school isn't a place uh, where you come to and you just kind of go through the motions, but school is a place where you can engage in some really, really high interest activities if you give a chance, um, and then take that and, and, and keep just pushing forward and taking it to the next level. So when you get to high school and beyond, you could fall back on these experiences and say, you know what? Um, it wasn't about the equipment, it wasn't about the lighting and all of this stuff, but it was about my character, learning that work ethic, that work ethic learning how to relate to people, being a leader, and that's what I want from Secret Society, and that's what I want from our students.